Well, one of Austin's most famous trains is expected to make its return to the tracks in Zilker Park later this month. Storms derailed the Zilker Zephyr in 2019. Now it's returned with a new name. Tom Miller spoke with the Austin Parks Foundation about what to expect from the Zilker Eagle. What recent progress have you made in terms of getting the Zilker Eagle up and running? We delivered the locomotive and put it down on the tracks, uh, and that's what will pull the train. So all the pieces of the train are here, um, and we're super excited. And what work is left to done? You have all the cars, the track is laid, but what still needs to happen? Yeah, so in, over the next couple of weeks, we'll start testing, we'll start uh, running the locomotive by itself, and then we'll pull one car and then two cars, and we'll ultimately pull all the cars, test the tracks, t test the cars, make sure everything's in good working order. Um, we'll start to, we've hired some of the staff, but we'll start to hire some more folks. What will that experience be like in terms of where does the, the train actually go? Who can ride? How much is it gonna cost? What we've done is we've kind of rerouted it a little bit, and now it turns around at Luneff Point. And it's really great because as it turns around, you have this sweeping view of downtown that's just beautiful. And so it's a little bit shorter ride, um, but that's what we needed to do to get it up and running uh, quicker. And what about the, the ticket price? Is it, is it open to, to anyone and, and what will they pay? Yeah, so we, the ticket price is going to be $6 and um, we will have one day a month uh, that generously was sponsored by the Bill Wood Foundation that will be free to the community. Um, and we'll be announcing more about that in the coming weeks as we get things ready to open. People want to know when it's going to happen. I know you don't have an opening date yet, but are we talking Days? Weeks? Months? Yeah, I mean, if everything goes well, it's weeks. Um, you know, I think in March, if, if things go really well, we'll, we'll have it up and running in March. So we'll, you'll start to see uh, the train running in the park here in the coming weeks, empty at first. Then you'll start seeing some, some people on it. Uh, and once we get it running in a, in a manner that, that feels safe and ready for prime time, we'll, uh, we'll open it up to the public. Colin Wallace with the Austin Parks Foundation, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Appreciate you coming out today. We're excited to get this up and running. Right, and so are we. Yes, a lot yes. of commentary <laughs> during the story, which is very excited about the train. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. It's, a, it's a different, it's, it, it, it makes what what happens at Zilker Park even better, mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. I said earlier uh, over there earlier that I think Zilker Park is one of the crown jewels of Austin. And today's yeah. a good day to be out uh, there, right? Today be, yeah. is a perfect day to be outside. And what in the world are we doing here? <laughs> All right, let's go out to, I wish we had a camera out at Zilker Park. Maybe one day we will, but for now, we settle for the serenity of the Oasis restaurant weather camera overlooking Lake Travis, where it is 80 degrees and the bugs are having a good time on the lens today.